lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about Marilyn Monroe's fashion and her off-duty style. So I was researching online and I found a whole bunch of vintage articles interviewing Marilyn Monroe and talking about her style. And Marilyn Monroe claims that she dresses for men. So I wanted to kind of go through some of these interviews and read them to you so you can kind of get an idea of how she dresses and why she dresses this way. First interview is in Motion Picture Magazine in January 1954. It compromises questions sent in by readers to Helen Hoover, who then quizzed Marilyn. So the first question to Marilyn Monroe from readers is, is it true you dress for men? And Marilyn Monroe says, don't most women dress for men? Isn't it true that men and women have mutual appreciation of each other? And question number two is, why do you wear low cut gowns? And Marilyn Monroe says, I haven't really noticed. And the next question is, what are your body measurements? And Marilyn says her bust is 37 inches, her waist is 23.5 inches, and her hips are 37.5 inches. Another interview with Marilyn Monroe about her fashion is from Movieland magazine in 1952. And it's titled, I dress for men, says Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn says, I wonder why most women dress for women. I think that's a mistake. For myself, it would be anyway. I happen to like men, so I usually like the same things they like. Therefore, it's a matter of simple logic that, of course, I dress for men. Also, I am aware that I am a woman, and I enjoy being a woman. I don't think I could dress like the illustrations in the high fashion magazines. For that, you require what is thought to as a voguish figure, and is, I believe, a boyish type figure, and I don't have a boyish figure. To begin with, I believe your body should make your clothes look good. Instead of using clothes to make your body conform to what is considered fashionable at the moment, distorted or not. That's why I don't care for unorganic clothes. Clothes that have no relation to the body. Clothes, it seems, should have a relationship to the body, not be something distinct from it. Marilyn says, I don't believe that ruffles mean femininity. You can't put on womanliness. You have to be womanly. Part of being a woman is the desire to please a man, a very important part. That's nature and you can't get away from it. In the 20th century Fox picture I'm doing with Cary Grant, Monkey Business, I wear only two dresses. They're daytime dresses, somewhat on the tailored side but they prove you don't have to be obvious to be feminine. I have been criticized for wearing as little lingerie as possible, yet I have also been accused of appearing in the 20th century Fox commissionary in lingerie. It happened while I was making We're Not Married, in which I wear a black bathing suit. One day I went directly to lunch in that suit with a robe worn over it. The shooting schedule called for me to wear the bathing suit all day, so I kept it on. The robe must have done a pretty good job of covering me because the next day a column carried the report that I had lunch in a bra and panties. The only people who have criticized my clothes so far are women. It all started when a columnist disliked a dress I wore to a cocktail party and said I would have looked better in a hop sack. The studio then released a picture of me as the girl who looks good even in hop sacking. Later, still carrying the ball, a columnist criticized another cocktail party dress I wore, saying I should have worn a gunny sack. But I wore the same very dress for 10,000 Marine at Camp Pendleton and they seemed to like it. At least I heard no complaints. This was a strapless beige lace dress that dipped not too much in the front and had a fishtail effect in the back. How wrong can you go with a simple beige lace? Men like simplicity in clothes and so do I. Many famous women have followed the basic rules of selecting suitable, timeless clothes that they can wear for years and in basic colors like black, white, gray, and red. Reds get response. Busy prints or busy lines in the dress get tiring. Of course, it's natural for women to respond to the freshness of fashion like this is a purple season or the bouffant silhouette it is. There's something feminine in that too. Personally, I get the same satisfaction out of changing my hair. Since before the asphalt jungle, when it was longer, I have kept it shorter, but I try to do different things with it. So far as clothes are concerned, I'll pass up the blandishments of writers and stick to what's suitable for me. In that, I go from one extreme to the other. I like blue jeans, slacks, and suits, or everything in dressing up. You can be feminine even in jeans, but even my jeans fit. I buy boys jeans because they are long-waisted like me and boys shirts to go with them. I have two favorite suits. One is a black Christian Dior, but instead of wearing 
a blouse or gillette, I wear fresh roses in the plunge neckline. I like to wear flowers. I even have some artificial ones for times when fresh ones aren't handy. The other suit is a brown, very fine checked, with which I wear yellow roses at the neckline. This one is scooped out, so sometimes I substitute a white peak collar. Or I like to wind scarves around and let one end fly over the shoulder. My love for dressy clothes might have a psychological implication. When I went to school, I had exactly two navy skirts and two white blouses. I washed one and wore the other. Because they looked so much alike, my schoolmates made fun of me because I had only one outfit. But I'm afraid I buy such things as cocktail and dinner dresses because they're beautiful and feminine rather than because I need many of them. I have yet to go to my first premiere. Someday I might, but not yet. I don't care for nightclubs. I go out with a man because I want to see him, not be seen because it's the thing to do. I don't go out with anyone unless I like him. And if you like a man, there are many more things to do than go to a nightclub. So in the meantime, I would rather stay home and read or even go for a walk. Three evenings a week, my jeans, suit, and slack wardrobe was much more suitable anyway. To get back to why I dress for men, I think the big difference in the outlook of the sexes on fashion is that a woman will think of a dress for itself, but a man will think of it in a relationship to the woman who is wearing it. So do I. That's why I like to feel that I am right for my clothes too. I don't want to be bone thin and I make it a point to stay the way I want to be. A breakfast of hot milk with two raw eggs means energy without fat. I like rare steaks and green salads and vegetables too. Rather than wonder should I eat dessert, I just go on an ice cream binge once a week. Chocolate please. And of course, if you don't like girdles, you're going to exercise. Working out with light weight dumbbells and a slow relaxed dog trot around the block are good for toning muscles. You have to be friends with your clothes if you're going to dress for men. Not too tight zippers or unnecessary doodads to make you uncomfortable. Sometimes their acceptance is just in their response. But the response tells me I am right. Dressing for men is natural for a woman. After all, you can't get away from basic fundamentals. Who wants to? So for the most part, Marilyn Monroe didn't really update her wardrobe since her starlet days. Whenever she needed something to go out, she'd go to her friend in the wardrobe department at 20th Century. She'd borrow something, and then the next morning she'd bring it back with a $50 bill slipped in. It would have been cheaper to buy her own clothes, but Marilyn didn't plan that far ahead. So I think she had a really basic wardrobe and didn't necessarily like jump in on any of the trends of the time. And instead she opted in for a basic wardrobe that was effortlessly chic. So she would wear turtleneck dresses with sandals and would belt them at the waist and they look really comfortable. Now I wanna look for one like that. And in the winter you could even wear it with tights. And then she would also wear a classic black turtleneck with capri pants. And then she would also wear like a black pencil skirt with a simple white blouse or turtleneck. And she had a massive little black dress collection. And it's such a timeless silhouette. And there's numerous photos of Marilyn Monroe wearing just a simple little black dress with like a three pearl earring. It's just a classic minimal look. And it just looks so contemporary. If you saw her wearing that today, she would still be in style. And her off-duty style was basically a smart casual style, which was definitely trendy in the 1950s. And if you look at these photos of her off-duty style, she was definitely ahead of her time. She dressed for comfort, simple lines, and nothing fussy. Marilyn Monroe was basically the Calvin Klein girl before there was a Calvin Klein. So it was really interesting to find these articles and kind of hear from the voice of Marilyn Monroe explaining her style and how she dressed and now it kind of all makes sense. She just liked to be comfortable, I think, and just didn't want her clothes to wear her. She wanted herself to wear the clothes and wanted stuff that kind of didn't take away from her natural beauty and wanted clothing that showed off her body, didn't have crazy patterns or prints and she just wanted something that was classic that fit her well and i bought this book on amazon and it's a christie's new york auction book from an auction in october 1999 it's the personal property of marilyn monroe as you go through the book you can see all of her different clothing items and kind of get a glimpse of her style and it really helps you see her little black dress collection you can see all her simple separates her simple knit dresses so i'm going to go in and show Show you kind of her personal wardrobe so you can kind of get an idea of what she wore on her day-to-day -day basis and all of these pieces you can still find today and still wear today I feel like her style is just so classic and timeless and you can still wear it today like if you saw Marilyn Monroe today her outfits would be very chic
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know who you want me to do next. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.